Hey everyone, it's Tim Topham here, and I just got a WhatsApp message from one of my ex-students. His name is James, he's uh, on the screen here, and he, well I taught him piano, but he's now learned guitar, he's learning drums, uh, great all-round musician. Anyway, he messaged me on WhatsApp completely out of the blue and said, can you help me work out what the chords to this little guitar riff are? So I thought, why don't I show you actually how I've done it, or going to do it. Um, I haven't, I've listened to it, uh, once, but I haven't worked on it at the piano, so you'll actually see how I actually work everything out. So, um, you'll hopefully be able to hear that okay. So, let's have a listen to the riff. And he plays that four four times, same riff. So da -da 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 -da. slightly out of tune on the guitar, but I think we can work it out. So we've got two options here. We can either try and work out the dum the bass part, or we can go dum -da 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 -da. So let's go dum. Oh, there you go. That literally was. I'm not. I don't even have perfect pitch. That was a fake. And they went dum -da -da. So now you see major dum. Possibly. Let's go back and have another listen. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically it. So how am I doing this? Well, I, I'm, as you can see, the first thing I do is sing it. If I can sing it, I can tend to play it. So, da, then try and find that note. Da, 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 da. Now, I kind of already know that if that's my left hand note, E, and we've got a G sharp in the right hand, then I'm already outlining the first two notes of an E major chord. So now my brain is thinking in E major. So E major chord. Which is why I played that F sharp and not an F natural. Because I know that E major, the scale of E major, B, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And that, folks, is why it really helps to know your scales. So scales are one thing because the melody for this most likely comes mostly from notes of that scale. The second thing I know is some chords. So I know that in E major, uh, the dominant chord, the five chord, two, three, four, five, is the B major, and the four chord is an A major chord. And they're the most important chords in this key. So we've got E, A, B, E. There's another really common chord, E, A, E, C sharp minor, but that doesn't get used in this one. But that's the kind of thing that being able to play by ear really helps. If, if your ear is supported by chord knowledge and scale knowledge, everything is much faster. Okay, so let's play this again. This time I'm going to kind of play along with it and see if it sounds about right. So I heard on that last chord, finishing with a uh, major seven chord, this one here. So the D sharp, 
really lovely kind of jazzy ending, ending to the chord. Uh, there's a couple of other chords in there. Now, if I was a guitarist, I would have a much better idea of being able to translate that to piano. Um, not being a guitarist, there's definitely, I know some of you out there who are guitarists are going to go, oh, Tim, it's clearly a diminished seven or a add two or whatever it is. Um, for me to work that out, it'll take a little bit longer. So I'll give it just one more playthrough of the four, see if I'm going to add anything else to it. Otherwise, I'm going to tell James that's the basic outline uh, and hope that helps. So let's have one more listen. Sounds like almost sounds like the bottom note he's actually playing isn't the E. It's almost like the G. What's that you're doing in the right hand? I wonder if I can play that. I can tell why he likes it. Pretty groovy, a little bit of fun. Hope that was helpful to you. Happy to ask, answer any questions as well. Just leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Looking forward to sharing another video with you soon. See you later, guys.